spirit of Nanatache, are you here? Dude, did you hear that? I just shit my pants. Dude, the ghost dude, it just grabbed my leg. I don't know what happened. That wasn't here when we walked through. Dude, that was not here when we walked through. Dude, they want us out of here. Holy God. Oh, 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 what am I going to do? Dude, this is horrible. Deep in the hills of Wildwood, Missouri, lies one of the most haunted streets in the country and considered to be one of the top most haunted roads in the entire world. A riverside road that has witnessed many a ghoulish scene in its long history, along with countless reports of hauntings dating back over half a century. To learn more about this street and to see if we could get any supernatural evidence, I set off along with my legal ghost hunting partner, Lobster Doom, and the newcomer to the team, Peanut, to see what we could find. Well, let's go, let's go back. Ah, come on! That's Peanut. He's a highly trained paranormal dog. He can sense the spirits. He can smell the spirits. He helps us, helps us a lot. Join us on this spooktacular investigation of the century on this blood-soaked path from hell. Here's the word on the street for Zombie Road. Today, the abandoned Zombie Road has been repurposed in recent years as an innocent-looking bike path enjoyed by bikers, families, and old people. But as we investigated this scenic walkway, there was a heaviness to the air that was undeniable. The stored energy in the ground beneath us screamed from the former road's troubled past. Suddenly, our spookometer began reading off the charts, and what we encountered was absolutely unbelievable. Are you here? Give me a sign that you were exiting this plane peacefully. Not only did we capture a voice on our soul scanner, as you can see when I go into the bushes to investigate the sound I heard, this strange orb passes through my body and disappears into the woods. Our editors spent hundreds of hours analyzing this footage, and he can confirm that this is not lens flare. This is some kind of extraordinary occurrence. Historically known as Lawler Ford Road, the wooded route was first constructed in the late 1860s as a means to access the Merrimack River and to haul limestone back into the town of Glencoe via the railroad. The road was always said to have had an eerie silence and odd energy about it, and over time the road was mostly abandoned as other routes were established. It regained popularity in the 1950s when it became a lover's lane and hangout for teens. And that's when the nightmare started. Paranormal reports, the sounds of disembodied footsteps, traumatizing experiences, there were even stories of a cloaked serial killer living in the woods that wore the ears of its victims on a necklace. This deranged psycho was dubbed by the locals as the zombie. The legend of the madman snatching girlfriends and unsuspecting hikers caused the old name of Lawler Ford Road to disappear, and a dark and eerie path in the woods gained its modern day nickname of Zombie Road. There are many reports of hauntings and trapped souls in this area, including a boy who died falling off of one of the bluffs. Ghosts of Native American war parties wandering over from the large mound cities and burial grounds around St. Louis. Civil War soldiers who used this very same route, many who were unknowingly on their death march, going off to battle, never to return, are often seen wandering these ghostly forests. The route was even known as the Rebel Bend because of the amount of Confederate troops that passed through this region. One of the most infamous hauntings is that of the ghost of Della McCullough, who was struck and killed by a train in 1876. This old bag spirit is said to be lingering near the remnants of the abandoned railroad tracks 
that can be found at the end of Zombie Road. There has been many first-hand accounts over the years of a bluish-white phantom that can be seen wandering this area that disappears when approached. We encountered no such thing on our investigation, but nearby those very same tracks, I had an intense and undeniable physical paranormal experience. Oh, no, dude, 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 the ghost, dude, it just grabbed my leg. I don't know what happened. Holy I didn't trip. I felt the ghost grabbed me. Holy it moly. was a ghost grab. As you can see, I am suddenly pulled to the earth by a powerful energy that causes my leg to freeze. There is no question that our presence in this area is not wanted. And that was about to become more apparent. As we prepared for our nighttime investigation, my legal partner, Lobster, had a horrifying encounter while urinating in the bushes along the road. Dude, I think I was molested by an Indian. Oh my God. They put a tribal spell on my c my, my one inch wonder. Oh, what am I gonna do, dude? This is horrible. We were totally going to stay the night, but after this traumatizing event and haunting on his one inch wonder, we were forced to evacuate the expedition and return home. That didn't matter though. What we found on our investigation was undeniable proof that this area was haunted as f. Zombie Road lives up to its name. Are you brave enough to venture out into these woods? I didn't think so. And that's the word on the street. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our spooktacular Halloween special. I know we had a lot of fun making it. And special thanks to my cousin, Sack Shaggins, who came out and helped us on that ghost hunt. It was a lot of fun working with him, and I wish him the best. And uh, hope you enjoyed it. Hope you come back. Like and subscribe. Helps the channel immensely. And uh, until next time, see ya!